Personally, I like St. Peter among disciples of Jesus because I can feel a sort of um, human touch uh, unlike St. Paul. Peter, Peter had a love characteristic, as you know, and he used to make a lot of mistakes in front of Jesus. Also, since his action came before his thoughts, he was often scolded by Jesus. By the way, the reason that I actually prefer him is I can find his process to be mature through his entire life in the Bible. Today's Bible story shows us the scene that Peter and other disciples first met Jesus. Whenever I read this story, I feel kind of marvelous energy because I receive impressions even if Jesus called me. Peter was a fisherman. In the background of the time, fisherman was a really common and normal person, normal class, although uh, they were uh, so poor. They were not ruling class and also were not like sinners. They just lived from hand to mouth. For that reason, there was nothing new in their life. And furthermore, it was impossible to do something in order to find the value of life. Jesus came to search Peter. Follow me. I will make you fisher of people. Bible testifies Peter and other disciples left nets and followed Jesus at once. When we realistically see all of this process, it's so hard to imagine for us. How could they give up their job easily? How was this possible? I believe this was because there was love from heaven which first came to them. From time to then, Peter's life was changed one by one. He embraced the kingdom of heaven following Jesus. Although he was a very normal person and he was one who made lots of mistakes, he found real himself that God wanted, dreaming kingdom of heaven. Dear everyone, We listened to testimony of two Jonusanim. Those were so graceful testimony, right? To the, my testimony briefly, the reason that I chose the way of theology was I wanted to be close to God. I hoped I would more and more resemble Jesus who first came to me with love of cross. Love of cross. Of course, all we don't have to study theology to be closer to God. But at that time, I guessed I would be close to God if I know God through studying theology. If I did, I seemed to resemble God and to find real me. And it is the reason, it is also the reason that I keep studying theology. Dear everyone, what is calling or vocation? The great theologist Jaren Kierkegaard wrote about it in his diary. Calling is understanding oneself and finding, finding out what God wants me to do. It is finding true truth. O s k i n i s the writer of the book, The Call, says, it is finding the ultimate reason of our being, our life. Right, I believe. In some ways, calling is 
the journey to find real me. Sometimes we feel we are common and normal, per- normal people compared with the continuously changing world. However, nevertheless, amazing fact is our God calls us as special ones. Amen? And most of all, God invites us as members of heaven and as the fishes of spirit in the world. Amen? Dear everyone, what is, you? What is your real, real you? What is, what is your real life? Is the life to be just content every day or to be cross for someone as being indebted to the love of Christ? The journey we have to walk is following Jesus. That is taking after him. It is for us to be hope in the world, especially to the people who lose hope. This is blossoming love of God in the withering world. This is a journey which makes this, which makes this world the kingdom of God. And most of all, this is a journey to find real me, real self. Even now, Our Lord calls us into this journey. Follow me. And how do you answer? Let's pray.